Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good and today I will show you the Saint Lotus Blitz chess game between Magnus Carlsen and Ding Liren, and this is your today's chess puzzle, 140 IQ chess puzzle, Bobby Fischer vs Daga, solve it and comment me, so let's go, Magnus started with English opening, we have knight f6, here you can go with Indian game d4 or g3, which is called Anglo-Indian defense, there is many openings named like King's Indian, King's Knight variation, Nimso Indian and so on. Because chess invented in India, the time of Ramayan, you you know it then you are blessed, here if you play e4, let me show you, try to attack the knight, then the knight will counter the pawn with knight g5, if you play queen e7 to add support then queen c2 will come and your pawn will be gone early in the game, so in this position we have knight c6 d3, and Ding chooses to play d5 to break the flexibility of four knights, after takes takes, you may think, I will play e4. But the problem is that the d3 pawn will be weak because he have no brother to support him, it will be permanent target for black, that means that you have to protect the pawn with your pieces constantly, so Magnus played e3, do you know the pawn structure strategy? No. Then listen, this may looks bad but its strategy is to stop dark square bishop's involvement on this diagonal, and the d3 pawn will stay there, after playing a3 to cut off the square form 1 2 3 pieces, it will be a good pawn structure, so bishop e7 bishop e2 and after some developing moves later we have queen d7, black wants to play knight b4 to pressuring the pawn on d3 with the queen and maybe the rook, f5 is also good plan, so a3 a5 rook c1 rook d8 knight e4 and here ding played f6. Very was a very critical choice for him, here, he could play h6, a healthy move then after knight c5 bishop takes and takes queen d6 queen c2 knight e7 h3 and that's it, game could play like but it's a drawable position, however it's not drawable position for human, if computer says it's a drawable position, there is a hope that maybe your opponent or you play a blunder move and change the whole thing, but for a super grandmaster it's not like that. Building structure like this and the bishop have to stay on this diagonal, that's why Magnus played knight c5 to eliminate him, never think that you are famous guy in front of Magnus, Ding says, nope, I already famous by winning the world championship 2023, queen to b1 knight back to e7 h3 bishop to f5, targeting to the with 1 2 3 pieces, so Magnus played e4 to block it and there is a good chess strategy here, if your opponent have one color bishop, then put your pawns on the same colored squares. So the bishop will be passive, Magnus have bishop pair and he is controlling more squares, so bishop e6 bishop e3 knight a5, black wants to play b6 and knight b3 then knight to c6, so Magnus tries to open the position with d4, here if you play 200 elo move for example h6 then after takes takes. Knight takes, queen d6 rook d1 queen slides to b6, here will come rook b5, sacrificing the rook but there is a another attack to the queen, so you have to protect the queen before you take the rook, queen here, sorry it's my mistake, that will not happen in our game, ha ha ha, c5, to protect the rook with the queen, then the killer move will come bishop takes pawn queen c7 bishop d6, targeting both of the pieces, and the position will be dead lost, no matter what black will play, he will lose the game. The square is protected by the knight, if queen b6 then you will lose your knight, let me show you the variation, after doing big exchanges rook here and d6, he will get the passed pawn and he will win the game, so back to the position, knight b3 pawn takes, Magnus sacrificed his rook, knight takes rook bishop takes c5 and we have center exchanges on e5 square, queen e8, Magnus played f4, that's a clear declaration that he is going to attack black with his bishop, pair. Here if black plays any natural move for example rook b8 then f5, bishop backs queen a2 check king here then the killer move will come knight f7 king here takes check here check, and you will lose your queen, that means that white have the queen in front of your no queen, that means white is winning, so back to the position, we have rook a5 bishop to b4 to target the rook, if the rook moves away let me show you, then f5 will come as I show you. You may play bishop f7 to guard the diagonal but that will not work anything, f6 will come to break your king position with the knight, so knight g6 knight takes f7 queen takes, then bishop c4 to remember ding that you are nothing in front of Magnus Carlsen, 
rook blocks and takes king escapes takes queen slides pawn takes check, bishops are snipering to the king position, if queen takes pawn happen then the bishop will come to destroy you, and if you play king takes pawn then bishop c3 check will come. These diagonals are occupied, that means that the king have no square to run, knight here check backs and there is the checkmate in two moves, game will be over for ding, I told ding that you don't have to become world champion, stay home stay safe, but he didn't listen to my words, ding liren sacrificed his rook, and chess friends, if you want to be smart in chess then you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel to get more episodes. After takes b6 bishop takes e7 queen takes queen c2 rook here queen ups queen d7 and we have bishop b5, white wants to play rook c1 to get the file, so after queen exchanges, it's time to bring out the king, but ding played a blunder move rook d2 check best was to play bishop c4 because after king e3 rook takes g2 bishop d5, the bishop can't take the bishop, because the connected pawns will be a great asset for white so you have to play rook g6 to protect it, h4 c5 rook f5. The bishop can't move because of the king, so after some more moves later, we have king f7 and rook c1, and these pawns are unsecured. Rook can't protect them, by the way the king is also ready to beat them, c4 rook here and after some moves later, we get this position where the king taking away all the black pawns, the rooks battling and black can't protect his pawns, white gets past pawns and here you cannot play rook a1 to target the pawn because after king d6 you will lose your bishop, white is completely winning here and don't forget to solve the puzzle that I gave to you and here ding resigned the game. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.